Hey guys, welcome to your 11th block based programming tutorial. Today we're going to talk about sprite movement again. We're going to talk about the if on edge bounce motion block as well as the set rotation style block. So we are going to be combining some things together from the last lesson as well. We went through a forever loop and we're going to move from there. So now um, I, what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at when the space key is pressed block that we created in the last tutorial. What we're going to do here is we're going to drag this out and we're going to drop it. So when the space key is pressed, I'm going to add a forever loop. Okay. And let's have him move 10 steps, right? Um, so he's going to forever do that. So if I were to click the space key, right, and he moves 10 steps, the problem is he's going to end up walking right off the screen. And what Scratch is doing right now is it doesn't know what to do, so it's kind of just holding him there. So let's see what happens if um, we're able to edit this. So I'm going to hit the stop key to make the forever loop stop. And he's going to move 10 steps. But if he's on the edge, he's going to bounce, okay? If on edge, he's going to come hit the edge, he's going to bounce off and go the other way. This is going to go on forever. Let's see what happens. Right? So he's moving, and he's bouncing off the wall consistently. Now, the problem is he's moving upside down. If I wanted to change that, I could set the rotation style. So when space key is pressed, before the forever loop even happens, I can set it where he only moves left, right, okay? So when the space key is pressed, let's go ahead and change that. Let's stop this first, right? So whoops, when the space key is pressed, he's only moving left, right, okay? Now, if I wanted him to actually move all around like he was before, right? I could do that, I'm hit the stop button, and I could say rotate all around, and every time he hits the wall, he's gonna end up moving uh, upside down. That's if you have all around. If I had don't rotate at all, he's just gonna face one direction and never um, rotate. But I think it makes most sense if he's walking back and forth to only be left or right. So let's see what happens. All right, so he's moving back and forth and bouncing off the wall consistently, okay? Uh, if he were to hit the edge, he were to bounce off. So those are the two things I wanna discuss in this lesson, being able to um, look at if on the edge bounce, and if he hits the edge, bouncing back and forth, and then setting rotation to style to left, right. Um, in the next tutorial, we are going to be going through some um, of the looks, being able to make Scratch actually say something and um, add some additional features to him. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.